What up you guys? Welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel. It's always me, Rich. And today I have news. It is time to talk. The vending machine, I am currently finishing up the branding of it because we want to be the most colorful peacock in the motherfucking spot. Come here, man. You gonna buy these zines, son. What you mean, nah? Get over here, homie. Get these zines, sucker. Because we need to grab people's attention. We want pe we want to lure people to the zine uh, vending machine and get them to buy some fucking zines, right? Of course. So the moment has come where I'm going to need you zinesters to start emailing me your zines that you would like me to carry. Uh, I have ideas, but I really would like the community to help me with these ideas so that we can come up with something that works for everybody. Because originally, I don't know, one, if the vending machine is going to make any money, Two, if the location is going to charge me to have the vending machine there, which some people said they will, and some people have alluded that maybe not. And then three, I don't know how much I'm going to end up spending on gas depending upon where it goes. Four, I plan to print them for you. That way you don't have to spend on postage or printing. So all those reasons listed above is why I wasn't too sure whether or not I could pay the zinesters for their zines. But that was a brief moment and I snapped out of it. And I said, no, I, I got to pay Zinesters. That's kind of where we're at. That's what it's about. But in my mind, I said, well, what is something reasonable? What is something that I can reasonably do? And then you have to assume the vending machine holds about 300 Zines. So you have to understand that that's quite a bit of Zines. So my mentality is that I will be able to pay $5 for 20 Zines. Meaning that I will pay $5 for every 20 zines that I print of your zines. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And I hope that this is something that can work for everybody. And if not, please let me know. Like if there's a problem with that, you know, if you have information that I should take into consideration, that way I can make a better judgment call, please let me know in the show notes. It's important. This is one of those moments where I really need the community to come through and converse with me on this. I, I, I'm in uncharted territory and I really need that kind of communication at that moment. Beyond that, I really want everyone to utilize the full pages of the mini zine to tell a story. This is an attempt to not only make them more accessible, but also get people to like zines. And with that being said, I want everyone to use every page as best as they can to make a point or to you know emote an emotion or whatever it is you're trying to do with your zine. I want you to use every page for that. So I would I would prefer if you guys would send me uh, all your information and I will print them out like in a little quarter page and just put it in the zine. That way you don't have to spend any pages telling people follow me on Instagram or that, that, that. The card will be in there with that information. That way the mini zine is literally you giving the information that you wanna give, telling the story, the joke, whatever it is. Right, so you have more pages to focus on that and the calling card will be in there. I promise I will put it in there. So like I said, so that's gonna be five bucks for every 20 zines that I print and I will let you guys know if I print more, but to begin with, I feel that's a safe number. That way every 10 zines that I print at 20, that'd be 50 bucks. Um, I'm assuming that I'll probably end up spending about a hundo on the first machine just to get those first initial zines in there. And like I said, like, you got to put your money where your mouth is, man. And I believe in the zine community and I believe in what we're doing. And I really think that, I really feel like it's it's been a long time coming where we kind of smash the gatekeepers and also smash this idea that there's an overarching narrative to the way the world is, there's not. You know, we're all trying to understand the human experience and to do that fully, we need everyone's perception and everyone's different ideas and emotions and things like that. So that's kind of where we're at, you guys. So I really hope to get some feedback on this. I wonder if this is, if this works for people. Does this make sense what I'm saying? Um, please let me know in the show notes if it doesn't. I'm also gonna add the email where if you guys are interested, go ahead and email those out to me. All right, man. Till next time. Lates. Fight the fascists.